Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at HashiCorp configuration files, also known as Terraform files, that which contain the configuration information about providers and resources. Uh, this is basically core to Terraform, and that's what we're doing. So Terraform files end in the extension of .tf or TF JSON, and we'll talk about the JSON uh, case a little bit later, but Terraform files are written in the Terraform language. And so here is kind of an abstract way of looking at the language. I know it's confusing here, but don't worry, we're gonna reiterate on it to make more sense. But Terraform language consists of only a few basic elements. You have blocks, uh, and so these are containers for other content uh, and they represent an object. So I'll have a block type, which can have zero or more labels and a body. You have a block label, it's a name of a block. You have arguments, which is, an, uh, which is what you assign a value to a name. So notice like we have assignment, so we have identifier to an expression, okay? They will appear within block, so here it is within a block as you can see. Um, expressions represent a value either literally or by referencing and combining other values. They appear as values for arguments or within other expressions. Uh, you might come across HashiCorp configuration language, so HCL, and this is the low level language for both the Terraform language and alternative uh, JSON syntax. I don't know if we'll be getting into it in this course um, or if there's even an easy way to distinguish it because it's basically Terraform language. But just if you see HCL, just think Terraform language. It's the easiest way uh, to think about it, okay?